Hello students, how are you all? I hope you all are fine and doing good. Today from the chapter Halves and Quarters, we will do an important topic and a very interesting topic that is reduction of a fraction to the lowest term. What is reduction of a fraction? You know any fraction, okay? In this topic, we will reduce that fraction to a lowest term, okay? And there are certain rules for that reduction. Here you can see the rules. At first, the rule is find the factors of the numerator as well as denominator. Here in the first question, you can see reduce 18 by 30 to the lowest term. Okay, so here what is in the numerator? 18 and according to the first rule, what we have to do? We have to find out the factors of the numerator. Do you know what is the meaning of factor? Factor are those numbers by which we can divide 18 when there will be no remainder also. Like if we divide 18 by 1, there will be no remainder. 1 18 is 18 and there will be no remainder. So 1 is a factor of 18. Next 2. 2 is also a factor of 18. Why? Because if we divide 18 by 2, then also there will be no remainder. Next, what will be a factor? 3. 3 will also be a factor of 18 because if we divide 18 by 3, then also there will be no remainder. Next, 4. Can 4 be a the factor of 18? No, 4 cannot be. Then the next factor will be 6 because we can divide 18 by 6 and there will be no remainder. And at last the factor will be 18 itself because if we divide 18 by 18, there will be no remainder. So the factors of 18 are 1, 2, 3, 6, 18. Okay. Next, we will see the factors of the denominator also. What is in the denominator? 30. So, we will find out the factors of 30. What are the factors of 30? At first, 1 itself will be the factor of 30. Next, 2 will also be a factor of 30. Next, 3 will also be a factor of 30. Then 5 will also be a factor of 30. Then 6 will also be a factor of 30. Then 10 will also be a factor of 30. And itself 15 will also be a factor of 30. And itself 30 will also be a factor of 30. So 30 has many factors. What are those? 1. 2, 3, 5, 6, 10, 15 and 30. So these are the factors of 30. So this is the first thing that we have to do. Next we will come to the second point. What is in the second point? Second point is find the common factors of the numerator and the denominator. We have to find out the common factors that are common in both the cases. Here I will write in this way. CF. CF means common factors. What are the common factors? 1. So we will write 1. Next what is the common factor? 2. So we will write down 2. Next what is the common factor? 3. So we will write down 3. Next what is the common factor? 6. So we will write down 6. So the common factors of the numerator and the denominator are 1, 2, 3 and 6. So, the common factors are 1, 2, 3 and 6. Now, the last and the very important and the main point. What is that? Divide the numerator and the denominator by the common factors except 1. 
we have to divide the numerator and the denominator by the common factors except one so what is in the numerator 18 and what is in the denominator 30 except one that means we will not take one so we will take two we will divide the numerator so if we divide 18 by 2 what will be the answer 9 so we will write down 9 here next if we divide 30 by 2 what by uh, by what number we will divide the numerator exactly by the same number we have to divide the denominator also as we have divided 18 by 2 so we have to divide 30 also by 2 so if we divide 30 by 2 what we will get 15 now the numbers come 9 and 15 now by what number we can divide that yes by 3 we will divide that because already we have done by 2 now we will divide by 3 so when we will divide 9 by 3 we will get 3 and when we will divide 15 by 3 we will get 5 so the now the numbers that are coming are 3 and 5 and the 3 and 5 are those number which we can't divide by anything because by what number we will divide 3 with that number we can't divide 5 so the answer will be 3 by 5 so this is the reduced from reduced form of 18 by 30 and this is our answer next reduce the following in the lowest term okay see the first one we will do uh, directly okay so at first i am writing the numbers here 2 and 4 say by what number we can divide the numerator and the denominator both by 2 so 2 ones are 2 2 twos are 4 so the answer will be 1 by 2 it was very easy yes next 4 by 8 we will write down here 4 by 8 Again, we have to think of a number by which we can divide the numerator and the denominator both. So, 2 by 2 we can divide. 2 twos are 4. 2 fours are 8. Now see, again 2 and 4 is coming. So, by again by 2 we can divide both numerator and denominator. So, 2 ones are 2. 2 twos are 4. So, our final answer will be 1 by 2. So, this is our answer. Right? Next, 5 by 10. So, we will write here 5 by 10. Now, by what number we can divide both numerator and denominator? Can you say? Yes, by 5. Because 5 ones are 5, 5 twos are 10. Now, 1 and 2 is coming. We can't divide by anything. So, the answer will be 1 by 10. Two. So, this is our answer. All the answers are coming 1 by 2, right? Yes. Next. The last one here is 8 by 20. Okay. We will write down here 8 by 20. Now, by what number we can divide the both? By 2. 2 fourths are 8. 2 tens are 20. Next. 4 and 10 is coming. By what number we can divide both? By 2. 2 twos are 4. 2 fives are 10. Now see, 2 and 5 is coming. We can't divide any these two numbers by any single number. So our answer will be 2 by 5. This is our final answer. Now, the sums are for you. Let's practice. Reduce to the lowest term. Here, I have given 8 sums that you will do in your maths copy okay so this is just like the previous one you have to reduce the numbers to the lowest term what you have to do you have to pause the video here and then you have to take a screenshot so that you can write the numbers properly in your maths copy okay i hope you all will do the sum properly at your home stay good stay happy thank you